What is going on guys? My name is Zach and welcome to another video. Now guys, today we are going to be doing a offline survival. Now guys, the reason I'm going to be doing this is because right now my father is actually getting something to make sure that the Wi-Fi does not go low because as I told you from yesterday, three, there were some issues with my Wi-Fi and I didn't know what to do. And as you guys saw from the last couple of streams, I wasn't doing so good. So, um, in any case, if you guys enjoyed the video, if you guys did, make sure to leave a like. Also, comment down below if you guys want to see more of these videos. Let me know what you guys think. Just in case, just in case, the Wi-Fi is low again, I will make this series. But, it depends on what you guys think. And, by the way, this is only just in case the Wi-Fi goes down by any Just in case. So, let's get into it. If you guys enjoy, let's get into it. Yeah, three, go. All right, starting out pretty good. Now, guys, um, there's some certain things I have to talk to you guys about because I didn't make anything clear of what was going on, um, and things were really hard for me to actually catch up on. So, first of all, um, I'm still doing a lot of work. Now, the reason I'm just doing this right now, as you guys see this probably like in a few hours, um, I'm not gonna be actually like doing anything um, for about a few minutes like until my wi-fi goes up vanilla sky factory is going to be on a hold but um if you guys do want to see the video the video will be on my channel so make sure you guys check that out because i'll be directly um linking the video to every part of my social media so um you guys can get to see it and everything like that um anyways um make sure to follow my ig it'll be in the link in the description as well um it'll be crazy so without any case uh let's get back into it so let's get back to this baby back to this baby and i just started with a tree slapling yay okay cool all right so we're just gonna collect wood right here let me collect about 15 of these so that way i can actually keep up um also let's not forget one more thing we don't want to mess up anything that we have so uh once we get all 15 wood we're going to have to find a cave system that we can actually start living in while we collect stone for a house. Um, let me see. Um, let me craft this stuff. By the way, I put it on classic crafting because I love it. So, um, oh, okay. So let me put this tree up real quick. Okay. And let me see if I can find a cave around here. If I can't do that, then that definitely means that I have to search for someplace else. Eh, I can't even speak. <laughs> um, ooh, why is there bricks over here? Let me craft a crafting table. Let's do that. The only reason I'm doing that is because I always tend to forget what I always say half of the time. So that's exactly what I get. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Also, I'm wasting a lot of my breath most of the time, so. Let me make a peak axe. Peak axe. And um, let's build through here. There's something here. I don't know what it is. Oh, it was a trap. <laughs> Why did I fall for that? Anyway, um, yeah. There's no way to build a shelter yet because I'm not ready to start building a house yet. Not until I get a lot of materials and find a cave. If I can find a cave, it will be a little bit more easier to catch up on. Um, some good stuff while I'm actually just getting ready to build a house. So, yeah. That's an interesting part. Awesome. But anyway, uh, let's keep on climbing on these trees. Uh, I'm good at parkour. I'm a parkour king. I shouldn't say that because most importantly, who the parkour king is Mr. Pizza Hut himself. Yes, I know about Pizza Hut because I have been a fan of him. And Preston, most importantly, Team Crafted. I've been knowing Minecraft since Team Crafted, Skyless Minecraft, and pretty much everybody. Especially Deadlocks. Everybody except for Husky Mudkips. I haven't seen him for a long time since seeing Crafted it got separated. I seen Trumu 
for a long time because uh, I've known Jason for quite some time. So I know exactly about his content. Very, very nice content. And I just lagged. <laughs> Oh dear, um, someone tells me we're going to have a lot of lag today. Uh, really? Now you decide to, I'm starting to question, I start to question that. I really do start to question that. <laughs> I really do. Um, where to go, where to go, over here. Yeah, baby. Okay. Uh, keep on going, keep on going. Okay, there we go. Uh, I'm running out of food. I really got to get some food. I really do. Um... Okay, is there any cave systems? Man, I'm deep in the jungle. I might have to keep this map on me just in case I'm um, separated from the area. Wow. I love the generation of this place. Like, the generators and the block generation is, like, really filling. Like, you can tell. It's really good. Now, hopefully this doesn't, like, get any worse and just start, like, getting real bad because of all the things that's going on. So... Hopefully, I don't have to deal with that. Uh, but anyway, let's just hurry up and continue on walking. Because I do not want to... Ooh, a chicken. Uh, I will kill you, chicken. I am sorry. But I need your um, delicious chicken. I don't know what to say in that point. <laughs> I, I forgot my... Just words. I forgot my words. Um, I'm sorry, sheep. I need your food, too. I don't know how that missed. Really? Come back here, you stupid chicken! Really? I can't even hit a freaking... I can't even hit a freaking chicken with a pickaxe. That's just how terrible I am. Huh. It's hilarious. Anyway. Let's get into the swamp. Uh, strange. I thought they could only grow on sand. Apparently they can grow on that as well. Okay, um... I'm starting to question the abilities that goes on, well, the physics that goes on in this game now, because, um, that right there, like, how does this thing grow in the swamp? And I'm sorry, I'm just making a bed right now. How does this grow in the swamp? I don't understand that. <laughs> that makes no sense. Um, can you put them back by any chance? Okay, no, you can't. Okay, so I officially just messed that up on my own. Um, I don't have any stone, so I might have to just collect them from here then. Um, because I need a furnace. And most importantly, I don't have, like, any time to literally go and grab some of the stuff I actually have. Like, I don't have time. And once I start doing that, I won't be able to, like, go back and grab a few things that was going to be going on. So, hopefully... I get enough stone just to clear everything up so let's just do this real quick okay there we go we got enough stone let's go back over here and you sir shall die or ma'am sorry you ma'am should die okay that is really dark that is really dark of how I say it my god that is so dark my goodness gracious okay let's start building this real quick Man, the crafting in here is just horrible. Jesus. Okay. Let's grab some coal. And, uh, actually, you know what? I'll just cook it here so that way I can actually get enough food. So, um, while I guess I'm doing this, I guess I can just, uh, give you guys a little bit of a story. Um, since the stories are a little bit separated and you guys really liked the stories that I originally had... Um, I'm just going to continue on with the story. So, um, let's start with the um, one that I really wanted to actually say for a very long time. Now, so, I've been around my friends for about a very long time. And, um, by the way, this is the story of how much of a pansy I am. You guys now know how much of a pansy I really am. But do you guys know the true story? Now... My story starts out like this. Now, first of all, um, this started, I guess, about a few, few, uh, well, I guess a few, yeah, about a, about five years back, I'm assuming, like, maybe six, maybe six, like six years back, I didn't have, like, 
good things of what was going on. Like, I started playing horror games, but that was not the reason why I was such a pansy. Because back then, I used to go into a horror, a horror place that was abandoned. So, me, my friends, and my sister, we were just walking along and all that, right? And we just found this place, like, like our aunt literally almost snitched on us because we couldn't like stay away from the place and I think she did snitch on us if I'm not mistaken but anyway so as this happened right my sister decides to go inside and I decided to go along with her because I was too much of an idiot to realize that that was a horror house because I've never experienced horror because I get too many nightmares so that's something that I can understand but I never actually experienced a real life horror house but anyways, as this started to continue, I didn't seem to see why she wanted to do this. Because knowing my sister back then, she was really adventurous. And she wasn't scared of anything. Plus, she was mostly born near Friday the 13th. So, she's used to this stuff. <laughs> she likes the worst stuff. But anyway, um, so we went in, right? We checked the basement. And nothing seems to be there. Like, trust me, nothing was there. But when we went upstairs and all that stuff, <laughs> my God, I should probably tell you guys this story because it's freaking hilarious. So when we first got into the darn room and all that, like the room was like um, a hexagon and all that, I see two ghosts in front of me and literally what happened was they chased my sister and my aunt and the rest of my friends all the way down out the door me i jumped out the window i literally jumped out the window it's not even a joke like i was that much of a pansy to jump out of the window and literally fall flat face first onto the pavement because of what just happened like seriously i was scared to death i'm not joking to you guys i really am not because why on earth would I just stand there and try to ask what that is if I have that much of a curiosity? But I already knew what that was. Like, it wasn't obvious. It really wasn't. So I don't understand. What am I missing here? Huh? Huh? <laughs> anyway, so first of all, let's make this very, very clear. And this is something that I didn't think that was really going to happen, though. But really concerned me was the fact that my sister really thought that she wasn't scared. She ran away from the thing, for God's sake. <laughs> like, Lord have mercy. And the problem is, you expect me not to literally jump out the window, almost break my leg, and run back to the house. <laughs> I don't understand that. But... After like a few days, a few days later, we decided to go back to the house. We decided to check everything, and I was alone because I didn't want like my sister to go through after what happened. So it was kind of hard for her to literally come with me in this situation. So I don't know um, what was the point of actually just literally going through that. Like I didn't see the point. Like, anyways, what really concerned me in that point, though, was really just the amount of people around me, like, like, sometimes I think that my family don't think that things are scary, like, um, my stepmother, they, she really has, like, the tough guts to face things like that, and that's from my father and I, we're, <laughs> I don't know about my father, but I think he's, like, afraid, same as I am, like, I am much of a scaredy cat than anything else. And that really concerns me because a lot of times I don't think straight. I really don't. And that's what really bothers me about things. That really does. People think that I do things to entertain people. But really, I don't. I really don't. And that's what really concerns me a lot. Like, that's really what really concerns me. <laughs> I just think that sometimes horror just gets me. Like, I'm a really, I'm a 
really, really bad person. And most importantly, if anybody, and if anybody scares me, I just run. Like, seriously, I would just run. Because there's no way and there's no reason I should be staying in that one place, man. There's gonna be no reason why I should be staying in that place. And that's just one reason and one reason that I don't like horror things anymore. Like, I don't like it at all. And that's the exact reason why I just hate it. Like, and now my buddy, my buddy, um, Antoine, he thinks that, the, <laughs> he thinks I'm being a pansy is funny. Yeah, understand that when you have the experience, man. Have the experience and come back to me. <laughs> I'm not having that. <laughs> anyway, let's just get back to it. So I'm collecting coal right now, and um, I just slept, so that was a long behind story. <laughs> and most importantly, I didn't actually get enough uh, coal to start everything. Um, I don't have, like, we don't have, like, any places to put a cavern, and I didn't find any of them yet. Um, I might have to just at least find a place for right now. There is a place right here, though. But that means I have to jump over this place just to get it all the way up there. And I'm not willing to climb that mountain yet. And... Oh, that was a sheep. <laughs> anyway. So, anyways. Let's just hurry on up. And uh, find a boat, at least. So we can actually just row our booties out of here. Okay, there we go. Make a boat. Let's get on out of here. Okay, so I think we're in a... Oh, we're in a... Oh, I'm an idiot. Because I just realized we're in a um, whole pla place that shouldn't even be here at all. Like, we're in a place that really sh shouldn't be in this situation. Uh, I found a cave. Um, and we have to go near the swamp again. We have to walk there. Why do we have to do this again? That's the second time. <sighs> so let's see. This is a huge cave. I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, I think there's a slime down here. Yep, there's a slime down here. All right, let me make a few, a few torches so we can actually just see uh, down here. So let's make one, four, and that makes about sixteen. And uh, let's make about sixteen coal. 16 coal and that makes exactly 64 torches and I think there's one down here if I'm not mistaken uh, let me find oh there's a zombie come and have some sir you can go crap yourself sir stay in that water if he calms out I'll just actually just try to do something about it but I do need a place to actually just at least cool myself. So let me put this in here. Um, let me make a, just a cave shelter for myself because I do need that 100%. <laughs> and I just realized we're in a swamp, so never mind. Um, guess I'm going inside then without any armor and anything. Jesus. Um, is this a good place? I'm trying to find a good place to, like, just stop by and do all this stuff. Uh, right now, let me stop this water from, uh... Oh, there we go. Perfect. We should be able to stop the water, and we're good. Oh, and I heard of these before. These are mostly traps, because I can tell these are. Because mostly I literally suffered from suffocating through these. Like, it was just horrible. It really was. And I didn't actually, <laughs> I didn't like it at all. I really didn't like it. So, I just stayed away from those. Um, so let's uh, eat some mutton. And uh, we'll be good. Oh, hello, sir. You still want to come and kill me, eh? Yep, die. Uh, there's a lot of coal down there. So we got a lot of coal to actually, like, hibernate or basically... Harness or harvest. <laughs> I forgot the words again. 
So this is why I just can't English because sometimes my commentating is just horrible. <laughs> it really is. So let's just continue on. Let's make this. There we go. And um, we got slime. Uh, let's put this dirt right here. And let's put the beds right here. Uh, I want to put a place. Well, I want to hack. Eh, I want to actually get a place to put this stuff in, like the crafting tables and all that stuff. I want to actually like put them in a certain uh, disguised place, so that way no one knows where to put, where to get them. Actually, where to get them. So um, I put the crafting table there. I really need a chest, but right now, um, is it almost time for me to? I think it's not that time yet. So let's uh, go and find a, um, a cave to uh, start l getting our grub in, or as grub I meant by materials. So let's do this real quick. All right, let's see if we got any places to go here. Okay, so it's just just an empty uh, cave in here. So that's a good place to start uh, living now. Right now, I'm gonna have to make sure I uh, pack my things. I'll stay here for, during the night because I don't think <laughs> wandering around um, is gonna be a better option. So I'm gonna pinpoint this place. Um, we're at the edge of this map, so we might have to move away from it. But I think we also need to uh, figure out a way up this mountain uh, if we can. But if we can't, that definitely means we might have to just move our ways towards this way. So we might be able, might be able to move, might be able to move, because um, it will do a little bit better. But anyway, let's just continue on, and I shall kill you. I am very, very dark, and there's a small zombie out here. Oh dear, Karma. Hello, Mr. Zombie. How are you doing? Now go and die. Oh. <laughs> Oh, hello. <laughs> I swear, these guys literally just try to attack you and just instantly fail. It's just not even funny. Okay. So now that we got everything in our grasp and at our disposal, we can now start making tools as uh, such as swords and all that stuff. Um, just in case you guys actually don't know, I didn't complete some of the achievements, but I don't think they'll work because of how offline this is, so that's kind of obvious. Anyway, let's just continue on with this. There we go. Sorry. Um, my mic died. Obvious. I'm well, sorry. No, my mic. Not my mic. Not my mic. My controller died. Sorry about that, guys. Um... Anyway, um, I actually uh, tweeted today about how I really hate after like literally recording um, about a few minutes, like people just instantly leave, like they instantly leave your follow up um, like page. They always leave. Like I don't know why they do that. Like if you want, like you don't do the same. Like say for example when you um, like post anything or like do anything like that by any chance. Uh, oh, hello, zombie. How about you go die, sir? Alright, so let me grab everything else. Um, but anyways, yeah, I really hate when they do that. Like, for some weird reason, it's just a problem for me. Because, let's think about this. What's the point of literally... And mind you, this is actually, like, always a few minutes after I stop tweeting. Why do you always leave every time when you, like, basically just followed me? I don't see that. Like, I just really don't see that. But anyways, let's just get through this. Uh, where are we at? So we are across from here. Now, we were originally supposed to be leaving off of this place. Um, but there was no way for us to get up here. So, um, let's continue on with the rest of the journey. But, um, as we do this, I guess another story we'll have to do. Uh, so let's see. What do I want to talk about? Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> this was something that happened to me as a kid. And, um, 
Boy, this girl was a Swiss, uh, not a Swiss cheese. <laughs> not Swiss cheese. I'm oh, God. Okay, really? I had to interrupt me while I'm doing a story. Come here, you stupid. D die. Oh, fil filthy little. Die. Little. Filthy. Jesus. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Let's just continue on with the rest of the story. This little kid, um, this little girl, if I want to say this, snitched on me as a kid. And I didn't know, trust me, I didn't know better by any chance. And by the way, just to make this a little bit clear about my family, my grandmother, Sally, before she died, she used to be like the queen of behind whooping. Like she really was. And that was something that I really had problems with. Like I've been getting whipped so many times and I've been whipped since... I was like in second grade in John Barry and that was something that was really hard for me to actually deal with so anyways as she snitched on me I didn't know what I did and apparently um, it was an accident because like one accident ends up into like a huge deal and I remember this clearly so I was sitting next to this girl right and I pulled away something that um, hit hit her by accident and as this happened, she instantly cries, right? I felt bad for her, and I was saying, I'm sorry, are you okay? And she said, no. And the teacher comes over, and she said, she said I hit her, and she think I did this on purpose. Like, I didn't mean to. And she said, she said yes, I did. I am like I was so mad at what she said because that made no sense like how in the world are you gonna blame me for doing something that was on accident and I got whooped for that same as my aunt me and my aunt got both whooped for the for that like it was not even a joke I don't know what's with my grandmother well my, my grandmother now my great-grandmother I'm um, Sally sorry and my grandmother she like she whipped us both to the whole pummel like she really did and I'm starting to question it like really word like what did I do and <laughs> it really does confuse me to the point where I just don't realize humanity anymore because <laughs> I'm starting to think that every time if hitting somebody is an accident you still get punished for it like really <laughs> like, really? Like, I don't understand that. And my father didn't even know about this situation because I couldn't explain it to him. And that was the... That was the messed up part. Like, I just didn't understand it. I just didn't understand. Like, can someone please... And I literally said this as a kid because... And I said this. Can someone please tell me what did I do wrong? And that was my two words. No one could explain it to me. So, you expect me to know this on my own and not expect me to at least, to at least, get upset about it. I do not understand. And by the way, we also found a mine, which is pretty sick. We got some iron down there. We might have to acquire upgrade. So, um, let me pull, let me, uh, oh, I don't have any shears. Um, I didn't get any flint when I, uh, got into that, um, gravel, so I didn't actually get into that so dang it I didn't have enough time <laughs> um I might have to do that um while I'm telling the story but anyway so while I'm actually just doing all this stuff I'm sitting there like and I'm just crying my tears off and I'm trying to figure out what like, what in the world am I seeing right now <laughs> I just couldn't I just couldn't actually like add up what was going on because my my life was really like people really thought that me doing that was an actual like assault like an actual assault to children like, I, I could never understand that and that really confused me because why on earth would I do that on purpose unless it was a mistake like, come on. And you can't just whip me for something that I didn't do. Like, whip me for an accident. That is, that makes sense. 
Jesus. Anyway. Um. Like I said, it's really tough to go through this stuff. Like, it really is tough to go this, through this stuff. Eh, I can't even speak today. And this is exactly why I have voice crack. Because I can't seem to speak for my life. So, you guys are lucky. I have to do this. Because my freaking voice is hurting like heck. <laughs> anyway. So, let's just continue on with it. So, yeah. That was basically, that's basically what happened. I got whipped for no apparent reason. That's basically what happened. Pretty much. So let's just get back into the survival. So found iron. Cool. Uh, there is a couple mobs down there that I don't want to go near. Because there's a whole lot of them. And I don't want to actually go in there without any armor. So I'll make sure I do that. Um, I'll stay around this cav well, cave. In particular, I don't know what to call it, like an open cave, um, or actually a cave, a cave, yeah, a cave. Um, I'll stay near this cave and uh, find some materials while I'm at it, but um, yeah. Um, let me also update you guys with some good games that are about to come out, because um, Pocket Gamers and the rest of the uh, other game companies are getting ready to bring out games that um, people are about to get ready, like... Um, um, Far Cry, everything like that. It's gonna be crazy. And I see, saw the um, the cover for Far Cry, and man, that looks so sick. Um, hopefully, I can get to see it. If I can't, then that definitely means I won't be able to buy the game. But it's up to you guys if you guys want me to actually play the game. Um, I will be able to play the game if you guys want me to. Um, I will start playing the game and do all that stuff when it comes out. Um, I might live stream it or anything like that. I might be able to live stream. I don't know because I don't have enough time to like clear everything. Do I have enough time? I think I, I think I won't be able to have enough time to literally live. Well, sorry, live stream all that stuff as soon as it comes out. Like, and plus I do want to play that pocket game they also are coming out with because it will be sick to see that. So let's grab the furnace. Uh, did I bring the furnace? Where did the furnace go? Oh, it's up, up there. <laughs> it's up there. I forgot to grab it. God dang it. Um, I can't go back up right now. So let me make something real quick because I was meaning to do this when I first um, needed shears because um, I'm going to cut down those vines to make um, like a ladder for me. So. Um, plus there's skeletons near me, so I'm... By the way, I'm closing this part right here. Oh, I'm closing! Closing that! <laughs> I'm already down in hunger, and if I get any damage, I might die. So, uh, yeah. Let me get a furnace up. So I'm cooking the food right now because... Oh, actually, I already have food with me right now. Um, let's cook the stuff that we need. Uh, or smelt it. Got... Not a stick! Okay. That was an idiotic idea there. Oh, Jesus. Why am I always doing this to myself? Anyway, um, let's sleep down here for right now. Just for tonight. Because that was stupid. <sighs> Alright, guys. I'm actually just going to leave this here and just uh, talk to you guys next time because um, it's almost time for me to go but anyways if you guys enjoyed the video if you guys do make sure to leave a like also comment down below if you guys want to see more of these videos let me know what you guys think of this because it's up to you guys if you guys want to see this in case my wi-fi goes down in case so hope you guys enjoyed the video i'll see you guys on the next time bye bye